Number 10. La Bac Lake National Historic Landmark Those who are interested in archaeology should visit the La Bac Lake National Historic Landmark. You can observe researchers hard at work uncovering artifacts from the prehistoric people who lived in the region about 12,000 years ago over the summer. Number 9. Science Spectrum and Omni Theater There are more of over 250 permanent interactive displays spanning across three floors of the Science Spectrum and Omni Theater. In addition to the ongoing traveling exhibits, there are also permanent exhibits. You can interact directly with a wide range of animals from all over the world at the center's live animal performances. Number 8. Robert Bruno Steel House This strange structure is eerily reminiscent of Barcelona architect Antoni Gaudi's work. The house, which is entirely made of cotton steel and stand on four legs, only has one entrance that is accessed via a short path that connects it to the slope. Number 7. Museum of Texas Tech University Collections on a range of subjects including natural history, anthropology, paleontology, fine arts, textiles and numerous changing exhibitions are available at this free museum. The enormous dinosaur skeleton reproductions that take up much of the spacious rooms and hallways are among the Museum of Texas Tech University's most striking exhibitions. Number 6. Prairie Dog Town The Prairie Dog Town is just a little field full of prairie dogs, but it's incredibly popular with tourists and delivers endless cuteness, and it's free. The prairie dogs roam freely throughout the area, running down the entire road, in the parking lot and even lounging on the fence. The main area is surrounded by a very low wall where you can view dozens of little guys at any given time. Number 5. Buddy Holly Center Statue and West Texas Walk of Fame Buddy Holly, a pioneer of American rock and roll in the 1950s, was born in Lubbock, Texas. The Buddy Holly Center is a fantastic place to go for an overview of his life and career. There are items on display from his early years to his performance career. Holly's Fender Star Coaster guitar and his distinctive horn-rimmed glasses, which were found at the scene of the plane crash where he perished, are just a couple of the significant objects from the collection. Number 4. Silent Wings Museum The Silent Wings Museum, which is located in the former airport terminal in Lebec, is devoted to the country's World War II glider pilots, 80% of whom received their training here. The flawlessly repaired WACO CG4A is the star of the show among the aeroplanes on display. This enormous glider is suspended from the ceiling, but it's low enough to the ground that you can look inside the attempt to understand what it must have been like to descend from 1500 feet in the air to a distant runaway in the war torn nation without an engine. Number 3. National Ranching Heritage Center The National Ranching Heritage Center presents a distinctive view of the development of ranching and the western architecture that went along with it. There are 49 historic buildings from the 1780s to the 1950s on show in this complex. The buildings were all moved here from other counties, with the exception of one. The oldest structure shown is a copy. The structures are arranged chronologically. Number 2. American Windmill Museum The enormous contemporary windmills in the distance will undoubtedly be seen as you travel along the highways in America. Visit the American Windmill Museum to learn more about these towering devices and how they evolved from their modest beginnings. Number 1. FiberMax Center for Discovery The FiberMax Center for Discovery offers an enlightening look at how farming and agriculture have changed over time and is definitely worth a visit. Fantastic displays highlight the machinery that farmers have utilized over the years. The Alton Brazil Exhibit Hall features a number of interactive exhibits that can be activated with easy push of a button to start interesting programs.